Hello everyone. Uh, today I am going to generate a contour uh, by taking a contour line from a Google Earth and then converting the line or the path we develop from a Google Earth and use it in the RGIS. You can simply select your area zone where you want to create your control. I am going to here in Nepal here you can see it here yeah. I am taking this area for my control I will take this area only this area over here so for that what we have to do is we have to add our path over here first of all and name it as contour C O U N T O U R after that you can simply keep it side and you can just go with we take it doesn't matter you can see you can take it in this way too rather than going with that part you can do anything like this You can go with all this part like this. Mm. And you can do all these things. After doing this, you can simply click this and you can done. Okay. This is our contour line. Now we are going to save it save it to my place and I am going to create a new folder over here yes control development generate control generation from google earth generate control simply is like that after this what we have to do is we just need to do anything we have done our part in google earth now we are going to use gps visualizer or you can use gpx converter to here in the gps visualizer you can see this side you can choose a file over here as we have created a generate contour over here and we have to do just after choosing our file just convert and add elevation we need an elevation file and it will give us output like this now we need to download it and you can see it has been downloaded and I am showing it in folder and keeping caught and saving it in our this file control V now I am opening RGIS now in RGIS what we are going to do is we are going to convert feature conversion gpx to the feature and then we are going to do the interpolation over there here what we have to do is first of all we have to set our projection 45 yen yes, this data is up and in foot here feature conversion it will take little bit time to load
and in that part what we need to do is uh, here you can simply go with conversion tool and from gps to gpx we need this one and here what we need to do is just go to our desktop folder generate contour and we have to take this file and it will take little bit time to load and it will automatically saving and i am saving it in the desktop and naming it as contour point contour points click ok and it will give us a number of point over here now this is the point we have taken as we have already done now what we have to do is uh, we have to go for uh, that idw interpolation and in interpolation we are doing idw and here interpolation control point and in id we have to take a elevation and i am for this output cell what we have to do is we have to go to environment and i am taking here um, this uh, from my and uh, this uh, usgs downloaded uh, dim file size will be that of that resolution and you can see it here after this we don't need to do anything and you can simply go with uh, this one after this you can save it as contour or the raster file it will develop our feature into the raster file so i am saving it as raster if format you can save it You see the elevation part over here. It hasn't shown any variation over here, so we have done wrongly. So we are going again to doing this one control point done with elevation now we are going all these things so i am going to develop only click ok over here no need to do anything more now due to large uh, resolution it has been doing that showing the plain image over here now we are going to convert or the change with stretching part over here mm, and in stretching part we are going for a stretch data we are going black and white is and this is our dim file now we can convert it into control you can see it here uh, we can convert it into control and for that go to not here uh, just to, from here you can simply go with create contour over here if you don't know the create contour and you can see it here we can find it in the 
surface stat statistic over here and you need to provide your idw over here mm, contour interval of nearly 10 meter and we can save our contour line over here is contour line contour and we have saved the, that part and we don't need to do anything else now you can see your contour line over here you can see this is our contour line we have developed of 10 meter interval now you can take it to the layout form too uh, after this we can remove this one contour point we need only remove one this is our control point or you can make it a black line also is we use to do no no not black line we need very thin line this one you can see this is our control line and we can take it to layout from now and we can zoom it and we can convert it to layout format too you can just convert it to landscape mode and it will give us our uh, this part.